computers can't work without instructions. So essentially, writing code is just like writing recipes. Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the Coding Blonde, and welcome to my Blonde Dictionary, where I explain computer terminology using, as I call them, blonde examples. So let's start with the concept of coding. What does it actually mean? It means writing code, so a set of instructions for machines to follow. Computers are super complex, but they all started off as giant calculators. And deep inside, they still are giant calculators. They need your instructions in order to do anything. So if you want a computer to do something for you, you need to tell it exactly what to do. Just like with calculators, even if you want to make a simple calculation, you still need to know what numbers you want to use, how you want them to interact with each other in order to get an output. So essentially, writing code is just like writing recipes. To create a program, just like with making a meal, you need to specify what ingredients you need, so in our case it's files, and to write down how they will interact with each other. And these instructions can be very simple or they can consist of logical statements. So all in all, writing code is just like telling your little brother what he needs to do in order to prepare dinner. You will need these ingredients, you need to go to the grocery store to get them, and how they interact with each other. Just like little brothers, computers can't work without instructions, or at least not yet. And that is what programmers do, they write code recipes for machines. There's a reason why I chose this example, as I'm definitely not the first one to use it. One of the people that compared coding to making food was Grace Hopper, who is also known as the queen of software and who has made world-changing inventions in the industry. She once said that programming is just like planning a dinner and that women are naturals at it. And this is true, programming requires a lot of planning in advance, knowing what ingredients you will need and where to get them from, and how to combine them in order to get a useful program or a nutritious and delicious meal in our example. I hope you understand the concept much better now. Subscribe for more videos like this and if there's something that you'd like me to explain, please comment down there. Bye! Can I get a pizza?